right. Everyone needs to whisper. Court is calling 2022 CR 5352 State of Texas versus Paul Vasquez Jr. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Hank Wilson for the state, Your Honor. Defense. Jane Seelaw for the defendant. And are you Mr. Paul Vasquez Jr.? I am. I'm going to show you what's entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. You're going to need to speak up. Yes, ma'am. All right. Are you saying Paul Vasquez Jr., who was placed on community supervision in 2022, CR 5352, for the offense of felon in possession of a firearm on August 25th, 2022, for a term of two years? Is that you? Yes, it is, Your Honor. All right. State. Violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Paul Vasquez Jr., did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of June. August and September 2023 in violation of condition number four. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. And your honor, we waive the other violations alleged in the motion. Any objections? No objection. That is our understanding, your honor. Thank you. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, sentence you to two years in prison and up to a thousand dollar fine? Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. We're asking that you deny the motion to continue the defendant on probation. But we're asking that you follow the court summary uh, recommendation to extend the probation for one year with SATIF held in abeyance. Uh, we're asking for inpatient, I'm sorry, intensive outpatient treatment with weekly UAs for 60 days, uh, zero tolerance on skipped UAs, and we're asking for a felony drug court evaluation uh, while in custody, Judge. That is our agreement, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Vasquez, can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? So help me God, yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your name. State your name for the record. Paul Vasquez, Jr. All right, why are you not reporting? Ma'am, um, I had told my probation officer that um, my father, 79 years old, he owns a business out there in Austin, and I asked for permission to my probation officer, and at the time, Austin's traffic was kind of hectic, and I'm not a, I'm not a violent person or anything, so I panicked, on, and when I didn't, when I missed that mm -hmm. appointment, I, you know, I, I honestly just panicked, so I, there was nothing that I was I didn't hear anything. I called her and again, I was again, just, just working in Austin and coming back and taking care of my father. My father is in the hospital right now, has, has his leg amputated. He's 79 years old. So I'm just, you know, trying to get back on my feet also. So how is going to prison going to help your father? It's not, ma'am. It's not. Because that's what you're asking the court to do by your actions. Yes, ma'am. Because I you didn't report June, August, and September. And I know traffic is bad in Austin, I, but it's not that bad. It's not three months bad. I, I, I understand that, ma'am. But I do I do apologize for that. Um, and so what, what drugs have you been using? I haven't been using no drug. I've been clean for at least six years already. So, and I'm not going to take this as true, but according to the motion to revoke, you haven't been doing your UAs either. Yes, ma'am, I haven't. So why haven't you not been doing your UAs? And there is no ex father excuse no, or no, not working there's, excuse. There's no father excuse or anything. It's just the money-wise, money-wise. Like I said, I was just trying to get back on my feet and whatnot. And my father is real strict on me. He don't. He won't provide any money for something that I've, you know. No, but you've been making money because that's what you said you were doing. You said you were in Austin working. Yes, ma'am. So you've had your own money. So it still doesn't explain to me, allegedly, yes, why you're not reporting in March and in May for drug testing. For drug testing. Oh, well, on, on one of them, I did tell my probation officer I did uh, I did take it, but what do you call it? Uh, uh, it wasn't it wasn't filed or something, but I did take that one, that first one that I that I was uh, assigned to. And the other two were, I, I admit, I didn't go on those. Okay. And the only, uh, the, those are the only ones that, that I was assigned to, and, and I did go to one of them. And I showed her uh, the receipt to one. 
All right. So he's telling the court that he doesn't have a drug problem. So why are we holding SADF in advance and why are we recommending felony drug court uh, probation? So has he done intensive outpatient treatment? Has he done any type of treatment? No, Judge. Tap evaluation done? Tap recommended intensive outpatient treatment, Judge. Okay. All right. Is there anything else from either side? It's just that uh, that's why we want the drug testing to make sure that we show the court and the probation officer that he does not have a drug problem and we can go from there. But if he does have a drug problem, then we need to meet that. So I would ask the court for just one more chance. And he understands that this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, I do agree on, on that. Just to prove my innocence on, on, on that on that part that I don't have a drug problem anymore. Well, what was you say anymore? What was your well, drug when I was before? a kid when a kid well, my juvenile years, you know. All right. This is what the court is going to do. The court's going to find violation of condition number four true, deny the motion, alternate amend conditions to include intensive outpatient treatment, extend for one year. There's will be a referral to felony drug court while in custody. So if felony drug court doesn't accept him, then he'll be intensive outpatient treatment. And there's to be the UA hotline until further notice. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate it. Thank you. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No, ma'am. Just have a blessed day. Oh, thank you. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. You'll be uh, able to visit your father soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.